just for you guys. All right. So parallel <clears throat> means we have the same slope, right? Right? The tricky thing is, what's the slope of that? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to draw a picture of that graph. X equals negative 2. Let's see. There's X equals negative 1. That's X equals negative 2 right there, right? <coughs> this is a, a vertical line. That's X equals negative 2 right there. Right? Okay. Its slope is undefined. It is. The slope's undefined. Because, like, you know, the slope formula, like, you take two points. Like, so let's take this point right here. Um, negative 2, sorry. This point right here, negative 2, 0. And let's pick this one right here. Let's say that's negative 2, negative 3 or something. I don't know, right? So if we did the slope formula, let's see, these are our two points. So minus 3, divide, um, minus 3, minus 0, negative 2, um, plus negative 2. That's negative 3 over 0. And I don't know if you remember, but this is actually, like the way division works, it's actually saying 0 times what equals negative 3, and there's not a number. So it's, what we say is it's, it's undefined. Good so far? Well, that's, that's a lot, right? If you were right to say this is a tricky problem. So <coughs> the, the key information, though, is that, so this is kind of like review of some important ideas from before. But the thing we need is parallel. So <coughs> parallel means that it's going to be uh, a vertical line just like the other one, right? The only thing is it has to go through this point right here, 2, 5. So 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That would be like right there. So I need a vertical line that goes through that. So it's going to look like this. Do you see? So that, that right there is 2, 5. Um, this point right here would be 2, 1. This point would be 2, negative 3. Do you see everywhere on this line? Not y. X. So it could be whichever number the <coughs> line of, of 2, 5, right? Well, yeah, this is your answer right here. X equals 2. Because it's a it's going to be a vertical line. So are you basing off what <coughs> the point we, that we're given? So yeah, it has to go through here. has to go through there. And, so and it's going to be vertical because it's going to be parallel to that. So if the, the problem was parallel y equals negative? That would be different. Uh, we'll get to that in one second. Let's let's instead of we're going to do y next. But what if this said instead of parallel, what if it was perpendicular? Here we'll, we'll go to another page for that because that's kind of tricky. So let's say we still had x equal negative two, right? Let's say that's one. Let's say that's negative two. Okay. And what if we needed a line that would be perpendicular to this and went through what was it two five? Yeah. Okay. Now, perpendicular to vertical is horizontal. So, like, I'm not going to draw the answer, but that would be perpendicular. And this has a slope of zero. These are, th this is like y equals some number. Whatever number the it crosses right there, like that's zero comma y. That's what this would equal. So if I need perpendicular to this line that goes through that point, one, two, three, four, five, well, that would be it right there. This right here would be two, five, so your answer would be y equals five. That you're good or bad? Uh, you sure? Yes. You? Uh, so, so basically you just look at the point, if it's parallel, you go with x equals two. If, if it's, it's already x, yes. Y right. So parallel to x equals a number is going to be x equals another number. That's going to be parallel. But perpendicular was going to be y equals some number.
Well, that's a different. We we made up a a different. We like changed it. Like we already talked about parabol parallel. Then well, what if we change it to perpendicular? How would that change it? Okay. The other one. The other one. Oh. You know what you call a two-legged cow? Like not not like missing its back two legs. Not, but yeah, like it's missing its back two legs. It's not lean beef. That's when it's missing two legs on one side, right? It's not ground beef. That's when it's got no legs, oh, yeah. right? Right. Uh, a two-legged cow. It's missing its front legs, or it's missing its back legs. It's called uh, an udder drag. Uh, <laughs> an udder drag. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I'm it makes, sorry. It makes sense. Okay. <laughs> Forgive me. <laughs> okay, <laughs> write a line that's perpendicular. Oh, perpendicular to this. Well, look, y equals a number is going to be like y equals eight. That's going to be up here. That's going to look like this. Oh, that's obviously seven then, and this is eight, <laughs> right? So this would be y equals eight. Okay, this is the x-axis, and this is the y-axis. So y equals 8 is going to be a horizontal line. A perpendicular line to that, a perpendicular line to a, to this would be um, vertical. And so that's x equals 2 right there. Mm -hmm. That's the equation of your line. That's going to be perpendicular to this and passes through that point. Exactly. So if it was parallel, this means parallel, right? Yeah. Parallel would be y equals negative 4. And that would be all the way down here. Like, oh, I missed. That's obviously negative 3. This is negative 4. <coughs> so this is perpendicular, and that's parallel. Yeah. And, and this, uh, these, <coughs> y equals a number, has a slope that's 0. Because, like, you know, it's y equals mx plus b, right? Well, if that's 0, 0 times x is just 0, and you don't really need to write plus 0, so it's just y equals b. Did you just say, did you just say this right here? Did you just say this right here? Oh, I see. Oh. Oh, I see. Like, I got it. I see. Oh, I see. Yeah. Not a polar pop, an icy. I missed the icy's. You missed the icy's? Yeah. It's a cooler name. Wasn't the third 